A supermarket shake-up, the new Home Secretary's promise and a safer test for mums-to-be. You're watching 5 News tonight. Welcome to 5 News tonight, I'm Catherine Nash. Supermarket shoppers are facing the biggest shake-up in more than a decade after bitter rivals Sainsbury's and Asda confirmed they want to merge. The result would be a giant chain soaking up almost a third of all our grocery shopping. The companies say it will be a good deal for customers and shareholders alike, but not everyone agrees. Leda Hayes reports. The new Home Secretary has promised a fair immigration policy where people are treated with dignity and respect, his first comment since he took over from Amber Rudd. Sajid Javid is the son of a Pakistani bus driver and says he will do whatever it takes to fix the Windrush scandal that toppled his predecessor. But the challenges ahead are huge, as our political editor, Andy Bell, reports. There were strong winds and heavy rain, batter parts of Britain. It's been confirmed a man has died in Kent after being washed off a pier by a large wave. Wales has become the first nation in the UK to offer pregnant women safer and more accurate screening for Down syndrome. Until now, mums-to-be only had the option of an invasive test, which carried a chance of miscarriage. But from today, a simple blood test will be able to rule out the condition in many of those pregnancies. Not everyone, though, feels advances in screening are purely positive. Our health correspondent, Catherine Jones, reports. Now, it's been nearly a year and a half since we first broadcast an appeal to help people of Yemen, an appeal that prompted a huge and generous response from five news viewers. Welcome back. Now, for most 12-year-old girls, doing something nice for your little brother might involve letting him join in with your games or lending him some of your pocket money. But Sienna Manuel has gone a lot further than that. And when Rodrigo Corsha rode a huge wave in Portugal last November, he knew it had been a monster, but the Brazilian surfer didn't realise it was also record-breaking. That's until officials told him it was the largest wave ever ridden. Minnie Stevenson reports. And finally, they are the 11-year-old twin boys from Lancashire with a passion for dance. So it's no surprise Sam and Hayden Asprey are being dubbed the real-life Billy Elliots. Even more so now, as they've both been accepted into prestigious ballet schools. Peter Lane went to meet them. And good luck to them. Now, tomorrow we have a Five News Tonight special programme on the taboos surrounding stillbirth. Thousands of parents suffer it every year in Britain, but we still don't know how to talk about it. And even some professionals get it badly wrong. Well, that's all from us. Claire Nazir has the weather next, and Janelle Aldred has updates throughout this evening. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.